0920 hours. We arrived at Y Invader 2 moored in Sharpness Marina and checked oil levels and coolant. Replace the fan belt, then start the engine and check all is okay. 0940 hours. We clear the mooring and leave the marina. The weather for the day was clear skies and lots of sunshine with a high of 27 degrees. 11.45 hours, arrived at Seoul Junction and stop at Johnston for fuel, then on through the two bridges. 13.45 hours, Gloucester Lock and we're in luck. A boat has been locked in from the parting and is just leaving the lock into the dock area. We've been told to move into the lock as soon as she is clear. 13.58 hours. The gates open and we set off up the parting towards Tewkesbury. The three miles to the junction with the River Severn take about 35 minutes. On the way up, we pass two narrowboats on their way down to Gloucester Lock. 14.30 hours. At the top of the parting, we go to the port side to avoid the remains of a tree and shallow water between the centre and the Dutch barge moored on the right bank. We're now in the River Severn. 15.45 hours. The six miles to Hawbridge have taken an hour and 10 minutes. We've passed three boats going downstream towards Gloucester. Just below Hawbridge, on the left bank, there are two landing platforms. These belong to Hawbridge Inn, which is currently closed. We had arranged to meet Dave, who edits the blog and the YouTube films for Y Invader. We also met the new tenant landlord, working to reopen the inn soon. 1600 hours depart or bridge for a below lock. It's still five miles to travel to the last lock before Tewkesbury. We arrive at a below lock at 1715 hours. It took about 20 minutes going through the lock. The next river on the right is the Avon. The turn soon appeared. Straight ahead, you see the old grain mill. When that comes into view, the Avon lock appears just to the left. 1745 hours. Y Invader 2 is moored at the floating platform and I went in search of the lock keeper. The lock was full and it took 10 minutes to empty before we were called into the lock. It was soon full and we moved out. I paid the three pounds to moor on the town wall and five pounds for the license to be on the River Avon. Later that evening, we had a walk round the pubs in Tewkesbury and a good night was had by all, well worth a visit. 10.45 hours. We soon covered the few hundred metres to the River Severn and a half a mile to upper load lock. The gates are open and we get the green light. We go in, secure Y Invader 2 on the starboard side. 1200 hours. As we go under Hawbridge, Davis sat waiting on the bank. We turned and moved up to the pontoon to pick him up. 12.10 hours. The bow is pushed out and we're soon on our way down the river to Gloucester, nine miles to go.
13, 20 hours. As we come round the last corner, in the distance, we can see the brickwork chimney. This marks the start of the parting, the three mile channel down to Gloucester Lock. I phone the lock to inquire if there are any boats in the channel. The answer is no. However, there is a narrowboat on its way astern of us, so we are advised we will have to wait until it arrives to be locked up. Thirteen fifty hours. The other boat has arrived. The gates are closed and we are locked up. Fourteen hundred hours. The gates are open and we leave first. We move out of the docks onto the canal for about a mile or so. Dave can take some pictures, then return to just outside of the lifting bridge to spend the night. Fifteen hundred hours. We're now moored and check the engine and gearbox oil levels.
0900 hours, check engine and gearbox oil and start the engine and move out into the canal. The weather is going to be hot, so we've left early to be in Sharpness by about 1300 hours. 10.45 hours, we're now just outside Sol Junction by the entrance to the marina. The bridge has just opened to allow us to pass. 12.45 hours, Y Invader 2 passes the remains of one of the rail bridge arches and we turn into the marina. Our mooring is about halfway down on the left side. 1300 hours, Y Invader 2 is now moored up. The oil levels have been checked and all are okay. The engine has not used a millimetre of oil over the last three days.